Hey guys, how are you doing today? Welcome to today's episode of Daily Capsule. And on today's episode of Daily Capsule, we will be talking about depression. Depression is a mood disorder that causes a persistent feeling of sadness and loss of interest in so many activities around. It affects how you feel, think, and behave, and can lead to so many emotional and physical problems. Although depression may occur once in a person's life, some people still have multiple episodes of depression and so many symptoms are attached to this thing called depression. You start to have that feeling of sadness, tearfulness, emptiness, and hopelessness. There is loss of interest in most or all normal activities, reduced appetite and weight loss, anxiety, agitation, and restlessness. The symptoms go on and on. For some people, depression symptoms are severe enough to cause noticeable problems in their day-to-day activities, such as work, school, social activities, or relationships. Some may feel generally miserable or unhappy without really knowing why. There are a lot of reasons as to why depression comes about, and I'll talk to you through a few of them. Number one, your personality. Some people and personalities are just more likely to experience depression. For example, people who tend to hold worries and stress, who tend to have low self-esteem and are very sensitive, are naturally more likely to fall into depression. Number two, life events. Life events can increase the chances of depression setting in. Events like losing a job, being diagnosed with an illness, being unemployed for a long time, or being in a dysfunctional relationship. All this can lead to depression. Number three, depression can set in because of medications, drugs, and alcohol. Different medications can have unfortunate side effects of depression, and while they may initially feel like they help symptoms of depression, they make you feel worse eventually. Number four, illnesses and health issues. Physical illnesses or injuries can have a significant impact on your mental health and drastically change your lifestyle, which can cause depression. Depression is not a condition that has one specific cause. It can happen for so many different reasons, and you can have many triggers. Usually, depression doesn't work quickly or suddenly. Instead, it develops over long periods of time and can lead to a downward spiral. There are so many dangers attached to depression, and one of the dangers that doesn't get enough attention is how much depression can interfere with your daily life. At first, you're able to show up for your life, but you lack motivation and drive to do more than bare minimum. Then eventually, it leads to missed days of school and work that leads to serious consequences. You begin to feel like the world is just going around in circles. Depression can damage family, friends, and romantic relationships, especially if the people involved do not understand what is going on. With some findings, many of these negative impacts of depression can be avoided. I'll give you six tips on how to overcome depression. Number one, meaning. Find small ways to be of service to others. Number two, your goals. Find workable goals that give you a sense of accomplishment. Number three, engagement. Stay in the present. This is sometimes called mindfulness. Number four, pleasant events. Schedule pleasant activities or events. Number five, relationships. Focus on people who lift you up, not people that bring you down. Number six, sleep regularly. Try to keep a regular sleep schedule. As you practice these coping skills, know that you are on the path to overcoming depression. They may take time and practice, but if you don't take time and practice to overcome depression, the period of unwellness may be forced on you later in life. The things that help the most are the things that are the most difficult to do. Yes, I know. But however, there's a big difference between something that's difficult and something that's impossible. While recovering from depression isn't so easy, you have more control over it than you realize. The key is to start small and build from there. 
You may not have much energy, but by drawing on all your reserves, you should have enough to take a walk around the block or pick up the phone to call a loved one. Taking the first step is always the hardest, but going for a walk or getting up and dancing to your favorite music, for example, is something you can do right now, and it can substantially boost your mood and energy for several hours. An anonymous person once wrote, you are bent but not broken. You are scarred but not disfigured. You are sad but not hopeless. You are tired but not powerless. You are angry but not bitter. You are depressed but not giving up. I hope you let today's meditation capsule teach you that by taking positive steps day by day, you'll be able to lift the heavy fog of depression and find yourself feeling happier, healthier, and more hopeful again. Stay safe and bye for now.